hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we're making chicken mayo so i'm going to be using leftover chicken from a full chicken that i roasted because no one likes eating chicken breast at our house so we know that when we make a full chicken the chicken breast is for the chicken mayo so i just cut the chicken breast into small pieces you don't have to cut them into small pieces but you can also shred it you can also cut it into large chunks whatever you prefer and then i'm going to add some tomatoes lettuce and some onions i'm using white onions today because i forgot to stock up on my red onions but that's okay so i'm going to microwave for 30 minutes i find that if i do this it makes it easier for the chicken mayo to stick onto the chicken and it makes it easy to mix as well so i'm going to add the onions and then I'm going to add some black pepper as well. A little bit of some chili flakes if you like it, uh, like it with a little bit of heat. Lemon pepper and then I'm going to mix that together. So this chicken mayo is very flavorful already because the chicken was marinated when I baked it. So it's it's a different kind of mayo altogether i feel like the seasoning on the chicken makes it taste even better so i'm going to add the tomatoes now and the lettuce and then i'm going to give it another mix so once that's all mixed up you're going to add your mayonnaise you can use whatever mayonnaise that you have. It doesn't have to be any specific brand. I'm using Magic Whip, the one that I can find where I am. So you can use any type of mayo. You can also add Thousand Island uh, creamy dressing. You can also add some ketchup. You can add sweet chili. You can add some hot sauce, whatever you like, really. And then once that's mixed up, we're going to take some bread and then we're going to start assembling the chicken mayo i'm going to be using brown bread for this um, chicken mayo you can use white bread you can also use like a baguette or you can use rolls just use whatever you like really so there's a brown bread and i'm going to load up on my chicken mayo and um i'm going to make two layers of this chicken mayo filling so i put the first one and then i'm going to put a slice of bread on top of this one and put some more chicken mayo and then i'm going to cover it up with the third slice of bread so the sandwich has like three slices of bread all together you don't have to put three you can use two slices of bread but i like using three slices of bread because it gives the sandwich a height and it just looks nice really so there's the second layer of the chicken mayo and i'm just going to spread it to all the corners of my bread and then cover it up with the last slice of bread so you can put some butter you can spread some butter on top of the of the last slice of bread so now the bread is ready to be toasted i'm going to be using a pan to do this you can use a sandwich press or you can use a toaster to toast the bread before you make the chicken mayo and look at how good that looks all nice and golden at the top and now we're going to cut the bread you can cut it into four pieces but i prefer to just cut it into two so that's what i just did and now you're ready to serve your chicken mayo just look at that guys so creamy and i love how it has a lot of chicken in the middle so that's how i make my chicken mayo using leftover chicken and i hope you guys are going to try it out and enjoy bon appetit 